Okay, I got this uh, hole drilled in here. The next thing to do is to install the battery mount Velcro. I get to open up this pack out of the wiring kit and I install the hook side of the Velcro on the body and that just goes between uh, these two slots for the strap. Okay, next is the gyro installation. We do uh, recommend, recommend either the 401 or the 520. This kit's getting the 520. Uh, to install the 520, it's so thin you can't really uh, sticky back tape it to itself to make a support. So I would like to cut a little cube out of this foam, packing foam that the 520 comes in. I just lay that gyro on there. It gives me a size. And I cut out a cube. That I can uh, use to mount two of the gyros to. Uh, to get the 90 degree orientation. Just make sure that's cut nice and square. I'll tune it up a little bit here. Now for the 520 gyro, I'll pick the, the factory edges of this piece of foam and I'll add uh, some gyro mounting tape to the front and the bottom of this foam block. And then with you mount the, the bottom gyro wire forward and the uh, gyro on the front face wire up. Just hold them nice and square. And that gives you good access to the programming buttons even though you don't need to use them. And keeps, keeps these gyros on a nice square face. And this assembly gets uh, sticky back tape right below this uh, wing mounting tab location, probably about a half inch below it. Put on the foam tape, keeping everything nice and square with the body. Just placing those gyros in place. On the same side, the controller gets installed. Use the Velcro tape supplied with the kit. Place the Velcro on the back of the controller. And the controller gets installed right below this crossover hole and right after the this uh, wiring hole that we made. And all these wires go through the fuselage. And 
and the controller gets mounted on just right there on this side of the fuselage. So then on the other side of the body, we mount one more gyro, which is the pitch gyro. Use the foam tape that comes with the gyro. And this one gets installed about that same distance, about a half inch underneath this tab location and keep it nice and square and the wire runs forward on this gyro. Then the receiver is installed next. Velcro back tape for this also. Makes it easier to hook up wires and stuff if you Velcro this stuff on. That way you can pull it off and stick it on. And this, this receiver gets installed right here so it's an easy reach for the controller wires to plug in. And I like to mount the, if I'm doing a spectrum installation, I like to mount the uh, auxiliary receiver on the other side. Or the remote receiver. I'm just going to use a piece of foam tape for that. There's no need to ever pull this on and take it off. I'll just mount it back here as far away from that receiver location as I can without making the wire too snug. And that gets all the components mounted up on the uh, profile fuselage board. Now if you do do a fuselage fuselage mounted BEC. I typically put that up uh, on the left hand side up in this location here. I try to keep it, or actually up in this location here, I try to keep it as far away from the receiver and gyros as possible because they, it does make uh, a lot of noise. And so this gyro ends up being your, your pitch gyro. This gyro here ends up being your yaw gyro, and then this gyro here is your roll gyro. 